Hi, Libra. It's okay. So in terms of awareness for the week, we have the five of wands and we have the nine of pentacles. So the five of wands is a card of conflict. It's a card of arguments, perhaps of people really not working together where they're at odds. They're not listening to each other. There could be ego involved and, you know, it can just be pettiness. It can be petty jealousy. It could be just, um, coveting or being envious of someone else. And so, you know, it's just unpleasant, but it's things that we have to deal with. These things happen at work and even on our own relationships, we get into it with others. And so we have to find a way to mitigate conflict. We have to find a way to lessen it, to deal with it, to try to not let it fester or become uh, a bigger wound. So maybe having an honest discussion uh, with someone that you're at odds with about how you can come to an accord. But, you know, there's going to be the possibility of having conflict this week. So with this idea of conflict, here we have, we have independence and success. The nine of pentacles, this beautiful woman who is in her fine garden. She has displayed her pentacles. She has her bird. She has the abundance growing within this garden. And so we get a sense of boundaries and protection earned. She's created this environment. And more than likely, she's created this abundance and this success by making good decisions, by thinking about her actions, by maybe having to sacrifice. And so all of these things have led to the reward of enjoying this comfortable home and the ability to enjoy having some fun in addition to the hard work maybe to the late nights or to the devotion that you've had to, to, to um, do in order to get to this place. Here's the bird. It's the, mes- the message here is working hard is great, but don't forget to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So as you're working hard this week, as you are maybe working on end of the year reports or trying to make a sales quota, you know, whatever it may be, and you are plugging along and you're doing everything that you need to do. Don't exclude the time or the ability for yourself to relax and to do something just for you. You have earned it. You're working hard. You're doing what you need to do, but don't set that aside this week. And I also would have to say that doing something of pleasure of for you is a, certainly a nice way to get your mind away from conflict. So interesting, we have the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups in your guidance. So when we see court cards, we often think about how the court card um, person would react to a situation. We're looking for their attributes, their characteristics. And that's something that we can apply ourselves. In other cases, it could be that there's someone like this within your circle. So the Knight of Cups, here he has his helmet off. He's holding the cup. It could be the Holy Grail. He's sweet and he's tender and he's romantic, dreamy, and a supportive and a sensitive person. So this week could be surround yourself with someone who is emotionally present who is emotionally aware, who is a good listener, who is able to uh, maybe be romantic if this is your relationship you're thinking about. Try to express and to work on how you express yourself in this relationship, how you feel about each other, sharing and telling someone that you love them. And so the Knight of Cups can be this approach where you are working on how you working on your emotional relationship, developing it, making it better, not holding back. Page of Cups, youthful energy, wants to get up to this night's experience, wants to know the ways of the world, wants to get more emotional connections under his belt. And so, um, again, youthful energy, it's that youthful spark. 
between these two cards, it could be an offering for some of you who are single and looking. It could be an offering of love. You could be meeting somebody who is sweet and sensitive and sincere and mean, means well and is looking for a connection. For those that are in an established relationship, it could be, again, deepening your bond or rekindling a spark, the attraction to each other. So we have this strong, independent woman. And I will just say this just because it popped here, popped in my head, which is for the independent women who are single, who have focused on career and maybe have put relationships to the back burner. You know, she is looking in the direction here. Maybe, she, maybe it's time to start considering the opportunities. If that's something that you want, not everybody wants that, but for those that do, to take a look at what's out there, the opportunities of so many different types of people. Look for the sensitive, caring, emotionally present and uh, considerate folks. So in terms of uh, possible outcomes, we have the Five of Swords and we have the King of Pentacles. So the Five of Swords can be a situation of, you know, someone feeling again that they have to win the discussion, that they have to come out on top, and they're going to they're gonna hang in there until they do. Again, ego, power, feeling the need to be right. Maybe this is you. Maybe you're feeling that this issue is important enough for you to win. Maybe you, you don't really see it within this illustration, but often it's a thought of, um, of different perspectives that sometimes we walk away from a conflict that might impact a relationship. But it looks like relationships are important this week. The sensitivity and the caring of these cups and then the potential here for conflict or disharmony. I sometimes sense that with the Five of Swords, there's a sense of taking care of your own interests, of putting your interests first. That if you've been deferring to someone else, if you've been, um, you know, letting your opinions come in second, if you will, that maybe it's time for you to be holding the swords and maybe it's time for you to position yourself for what you need of putting yourself first. So putting him aside here for now, this king of pentacles in terms of possible outcomes, more abundance with another tre treasure chest, with his coin, success. Uh, this, is, this is a in, a king who is successful by being pragmatic, by being smart, by not rushing things, being informed, and if he doesn't know how to do it, getting the expert advice. Um, living in comfort and acquiring what he wants. He's doing it by hard work, by being devoted, and by focusing on, you know, the process of getting there. A lot like the Nine of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Hard work, focus, good decisions. So with respect to your resources, your time, your energy, your property, your investments, your home, you may be paying attention to those matters. You may be putting some money into the home. You may be taking care of something for the home. You may be having just simply to watch and plan for your budget of what's coming in and what's going out. So an interesting spread in that it's uh, a lot of different places here of, of some conflict, of independence and abundance, and the emotional component here, which is to, uh, to let your emotions be present, to be real with them, to express them, to be considerate and loving. And perhaps the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, they're offerings for some, but there's a message here that even when we're having conflict, is to not let go of the gentleness and the consideration of others to be sensitive, to be compassionate. 
So let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week. Victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So despite the, the fives and the conflict or the challenges or the adversity, we certainly have abundance here and we have emotional relationships and abundance there. So let's see what we have in terms of love. Unity, you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. One small thing that you do in a loving and gentle and considerate way has a tremendous effect. And it's the energy and it's the vibration that is given off. And it's, it can be contagious in many ways. If someone treats someone else in a gentle way, then they in turn may proceed with kindness. So my Libra friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week. I thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.